Hello students, let's continue with polynomials. We were looking at algebraic identities and solving solved examples, right? So we are on uh, exercise solved example 21. So we need to factorize this term 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 4xz. So I'm just going to uh, take a look at this sum and just try and understand whether it is referring to any of the algebraic identities. Now look, we have x square, y square, z square and x, y, y, z, x, z, right? Does this resemble any of these? Yes, definitely. It resembles the fifth identity. See, we have x plus y plus z the whole square, which is equal to x square, y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz uh, plus 2xz plus 2yz. So, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite my question, right? The solution, we have 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy plus 4xz minus 2yz. I have just shuffled these two terms, right? I have written 4xz first and minus 2yz. The sum doesn't change. Now, you would be wondering that here we have positive signs which is fine until here. But here also we have all the three terms having positive signs, then why do we have negatives here? How are we going to solve this further? Let's take it one step at a time, right? First of all, I'll write my fifth identity, which is now the sum itself has variables x, y, z, right? So I'm just going to switch x, y, z over here by a, b, c respectively, right? So this, is, this can be written as a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. Right? This is using my identity 5. See if both, both of them look similar. We have x plus y plus z the whole square as 2x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. Similarly, you're squaring the first terms and adding them and then you're taking the products with two, two terms at a time, right? Now, we need the first term to be a complete square. Take a look over here. We have four and only the variable is a square. So I will try squaring this term also. How? Four can be written as two square. So let we have, let's just write the sum for x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy plus 4xz minus 2yz. Right? So now that we have written the sum in the form of identity 5, let's just go and simplify. Do not worry about the negative signs. We will take care of that as we proceed further. Okay? So 4x square, now we need an entire square as the first term, right? So 4x square can be written as 2x the whole square. We have b square and y square. So y square can be written as it is and z square can also be written as it is similarly. Now we need 2ab, right? So which means we need a 2 over here. So 4 I'm splitting, okay? And you need x. So your x is 2x. So 2x and you need b. What is my b? y. So do I get 4xy by solving this? Yes. Minus 2 into 2 gives me 4 and x into y gives me xy. So minus 4xy. Right? Plus 4xz. Now again I need 2ac. So I have 2. Right? Now my a is x. So 2x. Why 2x? Because my a is x and my x is 2x over here in this sum and my z as it is. So 2 into 2, 4 xz, which is what we need, right? Finally, 2yz. So 2yz can be simply written as minus 2 into y into z. So we have expressed this uh, sum in the form of 
our identity 5. How are we going to take care of the negative signs? Now just notice, don't worry about these squares. Square of a uh, negative or a positive number is always going to be positive, which is why we have this as squares, right? Everything is positive. But here, notice that wherever y is present, there's a negative sign, which means this sign, the negative sign is occurring because of the y's. So I can rewrite this as 2x, the whole square, plus minus y, the whole square, plus z square, minus 2 into 2x into y. Okay, I'll just put this in brackets. Plus 2 into 2x into z minus 2 into y into z. Thus, we have defined our a's, b's and c's. So, my a is what? My a is 2x. My b is minus y. And my c is z. Therefore, this entire expression, this entire long term, it reduces just to 3 terms ka square, which is 2x minus y plus z the whole square. Therefore, we have factorized our question, exercise number 21, the solved example 21, right? And finally, as tradition goes, we are going to box it up. So with this we wind up solved example 21. This is a very important one. Please mark it as important like I'm doing on the board and please practice this several times because it is going to come only through practice. Okay, so we'll continue with the remaining solved examples in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.